Tetsuya the Iron Man is a 1989 Japanese cyberpunk kind of body horror by Shinya Tsukamoto. This was I think his second or third film is a kind of low budget underground production that took I think about 18 months to make. Um, this was what made uh, Tsukamoto a international star and then gave him a kind of cult following and uh, was seen as a huge influence for people like Quentin Tarantino which uh, you can see in this film and you know why it's, it's kind of very radical gross disgusting kind of beautiful movie you know you have you know this very radical kind of intri interesting approaches to cinema you know it's kind of fast editing fast editing to abstract editing abstract framing and using older forms of cinema like the stop no motion of the 1920s and you have like, this kind of dark humor of it it's almost you, you can think of it as, as almost kind of like a transgressive uh, John uh, Waters approach Walter's approach it's a terrific film. It was directed, written, produced, and part edited and partly cinematography by the director. And what's I think really part of a style, the really star of the, the film isn't just the characters, isn't even just the abstract framing and editing, but it's kind of structure as well. Also the music by uh, Chu Ichikawa, I think was his first credit. It's this, this really metallic, hard-hitting, almost heavy metal uh, approach to a score. And it really kind of mouths well with the uh, form of the film because it's a very, it's about this metal fetishist who infuses a metal pipe into a wound that he creates and then he, he's then run over by this businessman and his girlfriend who then, you know, bury the body somewhere else and as a result, you know, in kind of classic horror fashion, he haunts the, the man and his girlfriend, you know, and, and infects them with this kind of metallic uh, spirit being where at the end they all three of them become this one and uh, end up, you know, wanting to dominate the world. It's a really dark kind of uh, fascinating film and, and I, I think w what I really like about it, it gives you kind of a visceral experience. It's, you know, it's not much of it like an intellectual, you know, you go into this thinking about, you know, what is all this mean? It's a visceral, it's a feeling, it's a gut kind of experience and I think that's what really makes it kind of, you know, cinematic as opposed to, you know, a, a horror film like you get so many horror films nowadays where it's Firstly, an intellectual engagement rather than a visceral engagement. I think this, you know, obviously this is a, a, a well-beloved cult classic, and I think uh, if you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth seeing just for the experience of it all.